just um, recently or last year published in the Catalan Review. I don't know if you know this publication, but I'm quite fond of it um, and highly recommend it in terms of a, a local journal for poetry and, and um, prose writing. Summer barrels passed in the Sapon for Nadine Chambers. It was a print, Alex Colville's Horse and Train. There once were as many horses as people. Two and a half million pounds of shit shoveled daily. Horses walking in giant wheels. Once every motor was a horse. Horses whose job it was to walk in a circle. Horses who did everything. Horse flu shut down the economy. 60% of them died. Imagine 60% of our engines stopping right now and only half of them starting again. I just thought I'd share that poem because it was inspired by that print which is in the home that I grew up in. Um, so the ekphrastic? Ekphrastic. Yeah, at a young age, that's quite impressive. Growing up, we always had a pack of dogs, usually four. They were held in prestige among many familiars. Them and a few cats we let indoors. Though we loved every bird, mouse, tadpole, crayfish. Froze in the spring frost, we grew more conscious of weather. Wide skies, red power lines, hum dove coons. The leaves turned dirt, melt, change on the breeze, the creeks, and the rain. <laughs> the gravel trucks of spring full by slow, then empty in the summer, barreling too fast past our hillbilly steak. Mother threw potatoes, later hard to explain to the police who got called in from a country over, a county over. And they drove out to say, ma'am, you can't throw potatoes at trucks. <laughs> Them all polite as we stood with our pack and stuck to our guns. A good scent of gasoline barrel in the barn. The distribution of labor, spiders, and must, hay, trouble, lifted bales except straw. Wood, picked, rocks. We picked rocks was the first job I ever had. We picked rocks, we picked currants, weeds, veggies, berries. I chewed all summer on comfort. Hungry dreams of ice cream and brown kids, a special Sunday. Hanging out after school at the donut shop, smoking or working. At school as much as possible and on lunch hours, learning extra. Down with the AV kids, down with shop, down with drama. Or I was running track, pitching backstops. Wishing behind trees, running everywhere. Do you remember, I still, it's such a remarkable thing about children, they run everywhere. Can you hear that? Like, where does that energy go? <laughs> Creeks stayed knees in the odd knuckles some doc visiting said I was growing full height ache at 13, gangly, like a horse. Could be when they said wiry. Because of wires, I suppose, the episode under the steel moon on top of blue snow. Barefoot, that drive to break free, inexplicable. Homing sores over property lines and fences that chestnut mare skipped across ditches like she knew we could only hope to board her. She just escaped at night, and no doubt she actually flew home. Singing comes from the Red Church service in Tagalog tonight. At home on a rooftop, a garden of sorts, I still can hear the only audible English lyric, love, in flat intervals, lifted up pleasant as cooking smells so well in this building on every floor. 
so well in this building, and on every floor consistently good meals are being made. Walking through the courtyard, I was invited to conference after talking with the gardeners of roses I admire. All year, they're red, even when they're dry and pruned. On the way to the train, my pauses for roses is more for black uncles I miss. Invited to conference by a young woman I could not racialize or assess. Her dress was mint pastel, mid-waist, like the women a farm over and growing up. Yet here, she is ochred, and she has invited me to conference, of which I thought, academically, no word of God. Approved <coughs> development surrounds us the most sound six days a week, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. construction in our neighborhood, the normative homes. Our relief emanates narrative thick with a sister in rhyme. We're not giving up, not giving up. Of course not. Of course we're not going to give up. I think that's all.